Hello! So in this video I'm going to walk you through a brief overview of how the new version control options that have been added to FME Server 2017.1 work. So let's start at the beginning with this. Uh, I'm going to say I'm an administrator for FME Server and I'd like to turn on this new feature. How am I going to go about doing that? So to start I'll just log into my FME Server instance here. So I've got the admin user this option can be found on the uh, left hand side here under system configuration. So I'll click that to open up the page and we have this enable features option. So we've got a warning here, so this is a tech preview so we don't recommend using this in a production environment but it is working and it's something that I think is definitely worth taking for a test spin to see how it works in your own environment as well. So to switch that on all I need to do is toggle this option here and now my version control is on. So I'm going to stick with the default settings for now. You'll notice that there's a remote repository option so that's a more advanced option and I'll, I'll get into that later in this video but for now we've just got the simple version control built into FME server turned on. When this option is on you'll notice some changes in the interface. So if I go to repositories here and look at my list you'll notice there's a history button on the top right. So I can click on this and I can see the full history of everything that's happened on my FME server since I've turned on my version control. So you'll notice here there's no commits to show because I haven't done any work on FME server. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to hop over to FME workbench and I'm going to publish a workspace up to this FME server. So I'll use my publication dialog here, choose my server, I'll pick my own repository on here, and upload that. So now if I go back to my FME server interface, I'll refresh the page here and I can take a look at the history now. So I should see what just happened. So I've added a new workspace into the repository called Laura. So I can see the admin user, so I logged in as administrator, committed this a few seconds ago. So in here in this history, uh, this page will grow as more and more workspaces are added. So what I'll do now is I'll jump over to an FME server where I've done some work um, adding and removing and changing workspaces to take a look at what that looks like in kind of a more production feel. So I'm on this other server now and I'll go to repositories and take a look at my history again. So when I view the history from the main repositories page, I'll see the history of every single workspace published to every single one of the repositories on the server. Uh, depending on how busy your server is, this could get to be kind of a big and messy list. So what I can do instead is if I want to see um, information about a specific repository, say if I go to my admin repository and click on the history button in here, I will now see only the changes that have happened within the single repository. So I can see I added my first workspace, and then I changed that. So the next thing we'll look at here is perhaps a scenario where I'm an FME server author and I'm updating my workspaces and making changes in this repository. Uh, and then one day I realize I've made a mistake. So I've uploaded a new workspace and it is incorrect. I'm not happy with it at all. How can I roll back to a previous version of that workspace and use that instead? So get rid of that old one and restore um, a pre-existing one. So what I can do is directly, or I can do that directly in the history for the repository. So I can access that either through the history button here, or I can click on the workspace that I want to look at and view the history specific to that. So if I check the box there and click history, I'll see only the history for this, my first workspace. So let's say this update that I added uh, was incorrect and I want to go back to the original version of this workspace. So I can click this little download icon to download a copy of the original workspace there. And then I can open that up in my FME desktop application. There we go and I can see the original version of this. So from here I can work with this version, make my new changes, and then I can republish this back to the server. So I'll do that now as another version. 
So I'll publish this up. So I'll publish this up to my server, continue there. I want that to go in my admins repo and I'll overwrite my first workspace there. Continue and replace the existing one. And I'll finish publishing. So if I go back to my server interface again, I can refresh here, take a look at my first workspace, see the history, and then I can see I've got a new commit for today. So I've updated this workspace again. So the current version is that original one that I've maybe modified and republished. So I can always go back to any of those previous versions and republish them if I want to replace whatever happens to be on the server at this time. So next what we're going to do is we're going to look at the more advanced option uh, on the uh, version control here, which allows us to connect to a remote GitHub repository and push our changes up there. So instead of having the job history stored directly on the server itself, we have it stored in a separate location. What's nice about this option is that you can push all your changes up to that GitHub repository and then when you go to upgrade your server, say you want to upgrade to 2017.1.1 and you want to preserve your job history, you'll be able to do that. So you'll be able to save your history up into that remote GitHub repository, uh, do your upgrade, and then when you're finished, you can connect back to that same repository and then bring in all your changes. Okay, so I'll just walk through the steps of how to set this up. So we'll go back to system configuration where we initially turned on the version control function. And we'll use this option down at the bottom to set up a remote repository URL. So in here, we'll click the edit settings button. And next, we'll want to put in the URL to our remote GitHub repository, as well as the token to be able to access that. So to begin, I'll go into GitHub here. And what I'll do is I'll just create a brand new repository. There we go. I'll just make it public and I'll create that. So the first thing I'll need in order to connect this repository to FME server will be this URL here. So I'll copy this into my clipboard and I'll paste that into the remote repository URL. The next thing I need is a remote token. So I need to generate an app token so FME can have access or so that GitHub knows that FME has access to um, push changes to this repository. So I can grab that from within GitHub itself. So I'll go to my account at the top right and I'll go to settings and then scroll down to personal access tokens and then I'll say generate a new token. So I'll give this a description. And then the only permission that FME server would need would be to be able to access the, rep the public repositories within your account, just so it can access that one repository that you've given it permission to. Uh, if you did generate that repository as a private one, which makes total sense, uh, you'll need to give it some additional permissions so here you'll have full control of private repositories. And with that, you can click Generate Token to get your access token. I won't show that directly because of uh, security reasons. I'm not going to show my token in this video. So I'll just generate it, and then I'm going to copy and paste that into the connection settings in FME Server. So I've got my access token, and I'll paste it into here and hit OK. Now I've got my re remote repository configured. So the first thing I want to do is push to the remote. Since this is a brand new one, I'm going to push all of the job history I currently have on my server up to that remote repository. So I'll click push to remote to do that. So you'll see it will attempt to push. And if all the settings are correct, you should see a successfully pushed to remote repository. So what we'll do next is take a look at what the repository looks like at this stage. So I'm back in my repository here. So this is the server where I've only got one change in my job history at this stage. So all I see is that single workspace that was updated. So as the server gets more and more updates and changes made to it, you'll see more and more um, repository names and workspaces listed here. So this is where that complete history of all the changes that have happened on FME server will be stored.
So you might notice this fetch from remote button that's part of this remote repository uh, connection for version control and FME server. What this is most useful for is if you've upgraded your FME server and you want to pull in the job history that's been stored in that remote GitHub repository. So I'll walk through a quick example of what that can look like. So I'm going to show opening up a fresh FME server that I've backed up from a previous configuration. Uh, in that configuration originally I had all the job history stored, so I'd like to be able to restore that information. So I've moved over here to my fresh FME server installation. So I'm going to use the backup and restore option to restore all my repositories and workspaces to begin with. There we go. So I take a look in my repositories now and I can see I've got all those repositories back with all the workspaces in them. I go to system configuration now and turn on version control. You notice if I come back here and check the history, there'll be no history. So what I need to do is connect to my remote repository and download that history information. So my first step here will be to go back to system configuration and then I'll edit my remote repository settings. I'll add the URL and then I'll also add my remote token here and click OK. So what I can do next is fetch from remote, so that'll download the changes. Uh, my copy-paste didn't quite work there. Let me adjust my URL. And I'll paste my token in again. And let's fetch from remote. So that was a good example of what the error checking can look like. So that successfully fetched my changes. So if I go back to my repositories now and click history, I'll see the full history of everything that had changed on this server again. So I can see my last change here in my first workspace, and then I can download all the previous copies of older workspaces. So the last thing we'll look at here, um, so all this is great, but what about the security side of this? Do you really want all your users to be able to come in, change your system configuration settings, and turn off and on versioning, and change the remote repository that it's connected to? Probably not. So we'll take a look at some of the security settings that relate to this. So I'll go into my security option here, and I'll click my author, for example. And you'll see there's a new version control section under permissions, so you can give a user access to see that. Uh, switching this on or off um, will either will we'll let the user see that history button inside the repositories, which would let them see the previous versions of other workspaces. So that's a nice one to have as an author. So if you are making updates to a repository and changing up workspaces, you can always roll back to a previous version. The other piece you'll see here is this manage permission. So this is what gives the user access to see the system configuration button and turn version control off and on and configure that remote repository. So for the most part, you'll probably just want your administrators to have access to this. They're the ones who have full control over whether or not version control is even turned on. Um, it's generally nice to have, let your authors at least see the version history when it is turned on there. So that will kind of tweak what people are able to see on the FME server um, and decide what to do with that. So that's everything. So this is, that's a, a good summary of all the changes that have been made for version control in FME Server 2017.1. So it is in .1, so it's in the currently released version of FME Server. It is a tech preview, so keep that in mind. Uh, what we'd love to do is to hear from you. Um, if you've turned this on and you're working with it, uh, take it for a good test spin. Um, test it as you would in your production system. Uh, do the tools make sense for what you need? Uh, how is the interface? Is it hard to work with? Is there anything else you'd like to see changed in here? Um, if you do have any feedback for us, please do update the idea, probably where you saw this video linked. Um, it'd be awesome to hear just what you think of it, what's great, what isn't so great, what's missing from this, and all that. Just let us know your background and give us a little story about you know, how you'd intend to work with this uh, if you want to see this in your own production environment. So thank you very much and uh, looking forward to hearing from you.